many thanks for giving us your time again. Pleasure. It's, uh, I think last time was Dubai Watch Week. I Dubai Watch Week, well. indeed. And before that, it was also the Dubai Watch Week before that as well. It was prior to that. So it's good to have you in Watches and Wonders. A hundred percent, a hundred percent. So I am personally, as a watch enthusiast, looking to get into your brand. I've been doing my homework for the past couple of years. Hopefully, a segue is coming really soon. But for today, I just want to kind of understand novelties. What are you putting out? What are, what are these dials? If you can walk us through yes. that, please. So for Watches and Wonder, we launched three watches. First of all, in the Pioneer Collection. Um, our Pioneer Collection is really our most versatile collection, easy to wear, 120 meter water resistant on uh, rubber. And we have two new center seconds. Yeah. Uh, first of all, two new looks with a 40 millimeter yeah. case, uh, with a Cosmic Green, a dial we already made in the past on the 42.8 millimeters, so on the bigger size of the Pioneer, but the biggest novelty is on the uh, back with a completely upgraded movement. New movements, different yes. than the previous 42s. Completely yes. new op uh, opening, skeletonized uh, on the skeleton, skeletonized also mass, and this anthracite finish. Uh, which give a more modern look uh, to the watch. Yeah, so the interesting part as well, because a lot of people are driven by function. Yes. Uh, I am an aesthetic first person. Yes. When I look at this case size, I think it's versatile and it speaks to many. It speaks to me personally, because now it's 40 millimeter instead of 39 millimeter, instead of 42 millimeter, forgive yes. me. And it's deceiving, because you look at it like that, you see the beauty of the dial, but then the question is, is it playful? Yes, you have luminescence in yes. it as well, which is hidden in a cool way. And then you flip it at the back, we have this new movement all together. So that's, uh, that's beautiful. I think this is a winner. Thank you very much. Sure. I, I reckon this is going to be highly in demand, to be honest. So. We always hope for, uh, for that. And uh, we hope uh, people enjoy our watches. So that's like uh, my next watch. Is also. it? <laughs> to show you something others, something that, um, you know, as in Moser, we like to have a bit of fun. We like to create things that are quite different. Um, and we came out with this uh, also Pioneer bit bigger, 42.8, uh, with this citrus green color and full concept. What we call concept is when we have no indexes, no logo, nothing, to just keep the beauty of the dial. With also Superluminova on the rail oh, that so is the round. The, the inner rail is yes. Superluminova? Yes. Wow. Uh, on this beautiful blue. That's awesome. So something fun, cool to wear, different, uh, on a, also new movement with the new finishing this is awesome. the movement as well i think it's such a cool trick that the inlay all yeah. looms out right yeah, it'd, be, it'd be quite interesting to see it in action yeah that's that's really cool and in terms of case thickness what are we talking about here this is obviously more than this yes uh here it depends on uh if we it's uh have us with so many watches i think it's 11 without well, without the dome sapphire yeah it's probably 11 but yeah but it wears well because if you see also yeah. the the lugs are quite short yeah so it goes well on the um, on the wrist, actually. It was very the, well. On the the way you played with depths is also interesting because when I look at it like that, I don't think the sapphire is domed. Yeah. Only when you tilt it is when you start, you know. Exactly. <laughs> and you see also how it's curved. Yeah. In the back. Indeed. Awesome. Awesome. We say, did we save the best for last, or, or is this I'm not stream, sure. We always uh, we always uh, are very proud of all our uh, of course of watches course. We will be presenting. Yeah. Uh, but the last one is a completely new caliber with the development of. Uh, a new skeletonized uh, tourbillon, double hairspring tourbillon uh, that you can see here at six o'clock. We wanted really to work on the symmetry on the skeleton, um, but also on the readability with those rose gold indexes and hands to be able to read the time easily while keeping the symmetry on the different bridges um, that have been skeletonized. It's a 40 millimeter yeah. case. Uh, also, as you can see, automatic and skeletonized yeah. mass at wow. the back. 120 meter water resistance as well, so you can go swim with your skeletonized. <laughs> wow, this is beautiful. This is really nice. And then it's really uh, see-through um, yes. from one side to yes, the other. Yes, but not too much either, Yeah. which what is important. It's a, yeah. it's a real skeleton. You know, yeah. often people confuse between open work and skeleton. Yeah. It's a real skeleton with maximum being skeletonized. But at the same time, it's not too much cheese to either that you see, uh, so yeah. I have hair, for example, and you see too much of hair. So, uh, it will enjoy, yeah. Exactly. And, and the thing is, when there's some, a lot of brands, when they skeletonize, uh, they miss out on uh, the luminescent aspect. Yeah. You made sure to include that, exactly. that playful element as well. So that's really cool. No, well done. This is awesome. I'm guessing this is going to be years, miles away from anyone's reach right away. 
but uh, again, we are. Uh, never know. I yeah. hope I hope people will enjoy it. Yes, the demand so yeah. far have been quite uh, amazing. Uh, so we always uh, we're always happy when. Uh, when collectors appreciate what we're doing. Of course. And with this demand, uh, does that mean production capacity also increases over time? Is that part of the plan? It's, uh, it's slowly, we are increasing uh, the production, but typically a watch like that, we don't produce, we don't have the capacity to produce them uh, sure. uh, a lot. It's, uh, it's in the, uh, uh, the future, we, we, we're hoping to do 50, 60 a year okay. on a piece like that. So uh, uh, not, not uh, produced, of course, on, uh, on Pioneers, we will produce a bit more, but all our watches are not never produced in uh, in big quantities. Indeed, the maximum we'll do on a quantity is 150 of one uh, references. One reference, okay. uh, we produce now more or less 3,500 watches a year, a bit less than 4,000 watches a year. Yeah. Um, so everything is quite limited. Everything is very rare. Indeed, and this comes only in the green Fiume dial. That's it. No, we have also it comes uh, on the blue Arctic blue. There is an Arctic blue. Yeah, color. but with the uh, HMC 200, so the Previous, uh, Pre previous version of the automatic. Still on a 30, 40 k size. Yeah. Okay, awesome. Bertrand, thank you so much for thank you. Um, thank you for coming as showing always. us some of the novelties and looking forward to uh, seeing more and more from you guys. I'm personally doing my due diligence on uh, the Pioneer collection and hopefully uh, something that I would like to acquire soon as well. With pleasure. Thank you so much, Bertrand. I appreciate it. Thank you very this, much. This is, this is